Hello YouTubers, this is Mr. Reef Buster. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about cooling or heating or both. Now, as you guys all know, summer is coming up and which means your water temperatures are going to go up. If you're especially if your aquarium is in a room with no windows as such as it is with in my case, my room has no windows. It's in the middle of the house. So there's no room, there's no windows, and the problem I have is when the heat gets trapped in this room, it raises the temperature of the water. Um, the te when I first started getting warm in New York City here, uh, my temperature went up as high as 85 degrees in the tank. Now, this is my first summer with a salt water tank. I've never experienced this kind of issue, and so. Immediately I started doing research as to as far as aquarium cooling and how, you know, what are the, some ways to cool the aquarium during the summer heat wave. And I quickly came to a real, realization that it is expensive. If you want a chiller for your, for your aquarium, you are going to be spending hundreds of dollars. For what? for four three months max not even three months worth of heat that's a lot of money but now if you if you have a large tank like over a hundred gallon or you know 150 gallon tank then it makes sense but if you have a nano tank you have anything under 50 gallon you know you really necessarily don't need a chiller or any of you know that kind of thing you could get away with fans and that's what I did now if you can if you look in the back of my tank you see the heater is on that's because I'm running a constant heat and chill system on this tank right now I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that you know what the end it's working for me I'm not gonna lie my temperature does not fluctuate not not even by degree only time it does if I do a water change and I don't heat the water up. I mean, that will bring the temperature down by 1 degrees. I'm going to show you my thermometer. See, 79.6. My temperature stays at 79.6, uh, 79 degrees at all times. Now, the point after, anything after the decimal goes up and down, depending on the day, you know, depending on the time of the day and everything. Uh, when I have the LEDs on, maybe that's when the temperature is a little high, but it's always around 79 degrees. It doesn't fluctuate up and down like it was before. Before I did what I did with my tank, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did with my tank. So I started looking into buying a fan for this tank, and as I did my research, um, I realized even those are kind of expensive. Like a decent fan, if you buy it from any salt water store or an aquarium store online retailer or if you go to a physical store it's gonna cost you 50 to 60 70 dollars to buy a fan when you can just you know find alternative rods which I did I went on eBay and I purchased a very cheap fan mountable fan and now I have the fan on and the heater on keeps the temperature at the right perimeters for me 79 degrees perfect water temperature um, you want to keep your tank temperature ideally under 80 degrees not more than that uh, it's gonna it's harmful for corals and fishes um, now let me go to the top of this tank and show you what I have going on now if you see this is my fan this is a $25 eBay fan that I bought. Let me pull it up so you can see this tank, this fan. I'm sorry. So it's a five spent, uh, five fan setup. Now, um, as you can see, it's a pretty cheap one. It has an on and off switch. It doesn't have the auto on and off. You're not gonna get the get that option because it's a cheap option, you know. Um, if you can look at it, it says the name of it, Boy You Cooling Fan, who cares? It gets the job done. Now I keep the fan, I mounted the fan to the glass cover, which I leave it open uh, for my tank, only this part is closed. Um, 
I mounted it on. It has these hooks, hinges that you screw on. And I just drop it. And it cools the water. Now, I'll be honest, my water temperature wasn't up by like 10 degrees, you know, because if it was, then this fan wouldn't be enough. Since it was up, it was up by 5 degrees, it worked out for me. Now, if you have a bigger tank, you might need a chiller. But if you're like, mine's a 40 gallon, it's not that big, so the fan works. It's not that big of a problem, and it's doing perfect job. My temperature is around 79 degrees at all times. And my fishes love it, you know, and yeah, so just wanted to make a quick video just to show you um, the process I took to cool my water temperature in my tank during the summer months. Um, hopefully, this is this will work out for me in the long run, and yeah. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching the videos. Like, subscribe. Leave comments, positive or negative. I'm always uh, open to ideas. Or if you have any better, cheap options or alternative that you did on your tank, comment below and, you know, uh, I might do it. <laughs> it's always, you know, somebody's always doing something better than you are. That's how I think. So leave comments, guys. You know, appreciate it. Thank you and have a nice day.